Hi, I'm Paul Psoka. Ivy Masters Learning Center at IvyMasters.com. And today we're going to look at the 14th question from Digital SAT Test 2, Module 2B. This is from the harder set of math questions. Number 14 gives you a function, and it reads the function f gives a temperature in degrees Fahrenheit that corresponds with the temperature of x Kelvin. Always note what the variable stands for. If a temperature increased by 2.1 degrees Kelvin by how much did the temperature increase in degrees Fahrenheit so there we've got the important information underlined so how do you approach a question like this well first you'd have to recognize this as a change affecting an outcome so one of the things that's contingent on your improvement for SAT is a concept called interleaving what's interleaving mean it means it's great if you know the strategy but you're going to have 44 math questions all mixed up when you take your sat and you've got to identify the question where you could apply a certain concept and then apply it so what do i mean by this first you've got to identify that a change is affecting an outcome and it, it this doesn't fit the mold perfectly um it's like a change in Kelvin is affecting an outcome in Fahrenheit, they're really going to um, have a corresponding increase. But if you recognize that, then what you want to do is you want to pick numbers, plug in, and then pick another number at, according to what the question is asking, and then plug in again. So first off, looking at this question, and you want to think a little bit ahead here, what's the best value to pick for X? And what I'm talking about is pick a value for X so it's very easy to solve for f of x. And notice, if I make my x 273.15, then I could tell that my function's gonna equal 32. So I'm gonna write that down. If x equals 273.15, then my f of x equals 32. How do I know? Well, if I put 273.15 in place there. 273.15 minus 273.15 is going to be zero. 9.5 times zero is just zero. And then you add your 32. Very easy to solve. So I'm going to circle these together. And now I have to pick my second number for X based on what it's telling me. So it says a temperature increased by 2.10 degrees Kelvin. So if I take my 273.15 and I increase it by 2.10 degrees Kelvin, then what do I get? I get a five, I get a two, I get a five, I get a 27. So now my new X, I'm gonna make my new X 275.25. And now I'm going to solve for my f of x. Now it's easiest to, so I'm going to put my 275.25 in here. And now it's easiest for me to plug this into Desmos now. So I kind of already did, just about already did. So I'm going to go to my Desmos over here. And you can see I got my 275.25 in place right here. And then all I have to do is finish the equation by adding 32. I get 35.78. So I'm going to go back over here and plug that in. So notice that's answer choice B, but be careful. So now my f of x equals 35.78. That's 35.78. It's kind of ugly. Remember what the question is asking. It's by how much did the temperature in degrees uh, increase in degrees Fahrenheit? That's my f of x. So before my temperature in degrees Fahrenheit was 35. Well, my new temperature in degrees Fahrenheit is 37. 5.78 my old temperature in degrees fahrenheit was 32 and that's going to be a 0 
Now you could plug it into Desmos. It's an easy subtraction. Not only that, but all the answer choices are unreasonable. You can see your answer choice. Your answer is going to be 3.78, which, yeah, is going to be answer choice A. So remember, when you've got a change effect in the outcome, you got to pick a number uh, and then figure out an answer. And then you got to pick another number based on what the question's asking, figure out another answer. And then you got to pay attention to the question and make sure you're answering what the question's asking for. So your correct answer here is A. Thank you for joining us today. If you like this video, click like. You can share it with someone who has difficulty with functions or doesn't know this method of picking numbers. When a change affects an outcome, pick a number, work through it. Pick another number, work through it again. If there's any question you'd like to see answered from any official PSAT or SAT or ACT, leave that in the comments. I'd be happy to shoot a video on it. Click subscribe so you don't miss anything and check out our one minute video. When you go to YouTube, click on uh, find Ivy Masters Learning Center. Click on the playlist, go down to test two, module to be the harder set of math questions. And you can see we have a, a video between one and two minutes. Also, that solves the same exact question and for all of our questions. So if you're in a rush, watch those shorter videos. Have a great day.